Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be video number three on the Twisted Leagues. If you guys missed episodes one and two, I'll leave the link in the video description. Make sure you go ahead and check them out. Also, before we get started, thank you so much for insane support on these videos. It almost feels like a Deadman mode. And with that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy the video number three. And here we have it, 40 magic accomplished, also 20 slayer a second earlier. And let's see if that is enough points to get our new relic. Fuck, not yet. Okay, we need 40 more points. What's the next level 40 that we can get? We just got 40 hit points and I think that might be enough. Hold up, that might be enough, right? Oh, there we go. And we now have a new... A relic and there we go i think the eye of the artisan is the one i had in mind um but first one way of the warrior i would definitely take this on my slayer only account um the two times xp and attack strength defense uh stacks with an existing multipliers uh, also prayer range magic like this is just awesome for a combat based account um gift of the gatherer is good but i don't think is as good as Eye of the Artisan. Now this one gives you two times XP in smithing, cooking, fire making, herb lore. Herb lore is a huge one. Fletching, crafting is a huge one. And construction, let's say it's kind of a huge one. Um, oh, 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 the other ones are pretty easy to get. But the herb lore one is definitely going to be the hardest to train. That's why this one, I do believe, will be the best one to take. Once again, if I went into leagues again. And I knew what I know right now. I would go Endless Endurance. Unnatural Selection, and then Eye of the Artisan. I think Arcane Courier, I did a mistake taking that Relic, but this is okay. It's the first time we are playing Leagues, and that one felt really good to me, but now that I actually have it, it is it doesn't feel that good. Anyways, we're gonna unlock Eye of the Artisan, and that's why I haven't been training all the skills, because I already knew prior to this that I want to go with this one. So now that I go and train smithing and crafting and all that sort of things, it's just going to be so much more efficient. So we're going to select this one, Eye of the Artisan, Herblor, okay, let's not fuck anything up, confirm. Awesome, and I'm going to use the remaining of a thousand casts on Fire Giants, maybe we get a Rune Scimitar, and if we don't, that's perfectly fine. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to do after I'm done casting all these spells. I am officially completely out of runes. The experience we gained from just fire casting fire giants is we ended up getting 54 magic, 21 prayer out of it, nothing too special. Um, let's see if we get any new task. We do. We need to get a lot of points for the next year. I might start focusing on completing, like, for example, all the easy tasks, let's say maybe in the next episode. But for now, I do want to get this rune scimitar. So I'm going to go ahead, see if I can scrape some cash somehow and uh, buy more casts and come back here. 55 magic coming through, we can now High Alk, which is awesome, still no sign of Rune Scimitar, and I pretty much sold my entire bank for the this extra 1000 casts, so hopefully we do end up getting a Rune Scimitar with these, or if not, at least we could maybe get to 60 magic with the, the amount of casts, I'm not sure, we'll see. And the Rune Scimitar is completed on the main account as well, which is honestly very, very good. I have 600 casts to spare. I'll use them, I don't know, maybe when I do clue scrolls or stuff like that. But uh, this is a huge upgrade for the account. Absolutely huge. This is going to be the best in slot until we get a whip, pretty much. I'm literally going to die. Do I risk it? I don't think I risk it. I risked it. Oh my god, that risk, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I'm literally gonna... I swear I'm gonna die right now, no? I need to... Wait, how do I get back here if I drop it? Oh no, as soon as this closes, I'm dying. And I'm losing it. Okay, maybe if I wait until I recharge health. I don't know if I can wait that long, though. This is so fucking hard, though. I'll try to wait in this stall until I have 7 HP. All right, watch this trick. So I've been waiting here for a long time, okay? A very long time. And now I need to do this fast. So we need to boom, we're gonna take six damage as soon as I cancel this. Six damage, and now I can TP home. With one HP, as, as soon as the TP ends, I drop this, and now I die. Could not have done it better, man. Ha! <laughs> 
I'm actually so fucking smart. This is the Slayer account, so we should probably be getting quite a lot of hard clues on this one. Here it goes, hard clue. I just want like a rune plate body, a rune plate legs, maybe rune kai chilled, anything rune. Oh, bro, rune pickaxe, full health, plate legs. <laughs> wait, we're stacked. Bro, look at this. Wait, 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 we're stacked for the whole thing, dude. Wait, look at this, man. Whoa, hey, that's actually huge. That is insane. All right, we are definitely completing all the clue scrolls, even if we don't have the endless endurance on the account, because look at this beast, man. Oh, yes. Nice. First, kind of a very good drop right here on the account, Rune Full Helm. Unfortunately, we just got one a second ago on the clue, but that is 30k that we can spend on anything we want if we just ask that. So that's gonna be very helpful if we ever need like casts for magic or cast like if we need to buy runes to teleport around anything like that that helm will come in very very handy. We got another brimstone key and hopefully this time we get something else than coal. We also have 75 left on the task which is uh, pretty solid. Record this real quick because we just got a second brimstone key. So we have 59 left on the task and hopefully. I can flick 59 with 9 prayer, I don't think I'll make it. I think I'll have to do another trip. But it's okay, because this is hopefully gonna give me something good. I haven't finished the task yet, but I DC'd, so I lost my prayer, and I'll, I'll do the clue scroll before I finish the task. But first, we are opening the brimstone key for 34 ruby, and... Yes! 124,000 coins, which is very, very good, because... We're stacked, we're literally rolling in money right now, like, we're sorted for the whole, uh, the whole tournament, it's really insane. Okay, here is something that I want to do before I fully continue with this account, obviously we are going to be completing the hard clue scroll, but before we do that, I want to do a few things. Since I didn't choose the endless endurance on this account, it, which basically means that I need to walk pretty much everywhere I go. I want to get myself a Xeric Talisman. There are a couple of ways of getting it. I personally want to get it the way of killing the small lizard shaman thingies, because I think that's the fastest way. But in order to make it the fastest way, which I don't even know if it is, but anyways, I need to complete the Easy Kebos Diaries, because with that, I pretty much get like half the drop rate. So instead of 1 in 250, it'll be 1 in 125. So we're gonna start working on 15 mining on the account, which should literally take a couple of seconds, so we do this. Then we're gonna complete the Queen of Thieves, take both to lands and should be very easy, pray at the altar in Current Castle, very easy, dig up some salt Peter, very easy. Ah. Ah, shit. Um... Never mind, I can enter my house without 25 construction because uh, yeah, we're gonna go for that. I'm just really retarded today. It's fine, we're gonna complete all of that. Let's start off with some mining first of though. I'll unequip all the heavy gear because there is absolutely no reason to have it on. Let's get a pickaxe. Ooh, I have a rune one as well. Nice, and I have a black one as well. So, while we're gonna be getting requirements on our Slayer account to get the Xerishian Talisman easier, we will start working on some money again on our MikaDMM account, which is our main account. But honestly, this is more like of a fully like skiller kind of account. If we check tasks here, we haven't actually gotten any points, that's crazy. I'm gonna be here for not much longer actually, uh, because I have 1000 feathers left, so we need to make money. How do we make money? Winter Todd. We're gonna be returning to Winter Todd in very soon. And this time I can wear a uh, Tome of Fire with like... Uh, the, the top thing is, so I should take less damage, but then again, my HP is higher, so I'll probably take more damage. But anyways, we're gonna be returning to Winterthod until we get a little bit of money, and then we're gonna use all the money on feathers, and then we're gonna work on 99 fishing, and in the process get a lot of agility levels, a lot of strength levels, maybe I won't go all the way to 99 fishing, and I'll only fish until 60 agility, which is also a very viable strategy, and then from 60 to 99 agility, for example, if I wanted to go that far, I can then train that in Winterthod on the skipping stone. So anyways, I'm gonna do a nice little sweep, switch on the accounts on which one I focus So this one's gonna be AFKing a bit more and our main is gonna be, you know, getting some uh, winter dot done 85 fire making coming through We're gonna be opening like five chests at the same time a little bit later because well my perk automatically bangs them for me um, But we are on 3.2 
3.2k fire making, no, 3.2 mil fire making XP, and we're getting about 3 mil XP an hour as well, which is kind of nice. All right, we just got 87 fire making. Can we get some cash out of these three? Ooh, I got sharks though, see? That's why we trained our fishing. Now we're getting sharks and lobsters before we were getting shrimp. So that's really good. Also, decent seeds, not bad. I'm about to finish Queen of Thieves on this account as well. And uh, well, since I don't have endless run energy on this account, it's going to be pretty important that I get my agility a little bit more up. Um, so we ended up getting the Pissarilia's favorite certificate. Thank you, buddy. Now we have 30%, I think. And we can put this in the book. But the reason why we actually did this was... I actually do not know why I did this. Uh, oh, it was so I can buy feathers here. Right, That that that's why. Um, so I think I want to waste like... Okay, I don't know how many I want to buy. Okay, the price goes up kind of quickly. So I'll just buy 10, 10 a couple of times. But I don't want to waste too much money on these feathers. I'll then use them, obviously, to train my agility up and my strength and fishing and all that sort of things. And also, we can then uh, start working on completing the easy diaries. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. 90 fire making coming in. I'm going to stop here. Open all the chests that I accumulated in the bank in the time of getting here. And then we're going to get 60 agility and strength with fishing. And then we're going to return for 99 fire making. That is on the main account, obviously. On our Slayer slash alt account, which is probably going to not only be Slayer. I am 14 mining. I cannot be fucked. Why am I 14 mining? Alright, here we go, here we go. We're done with fire making for a little bit even though i really want to finish the 99 but we're gonna get it at a later date and we have all of the chests to go ahead and open let's see what we get one two most importantly we need coins boom boom nice 10k that's good boom and boom Ooh, pages pages are beautiful because we need them for our book we also got u seeds some tuna hey not bad loot most importantly though, we now have 18k to spend on more feathers, and at that point hopefully this will be enough for 60 agility, and then we return finish 99, and uh, yeah, basically continue the account. So pretty happy with 18k, and uh, let's go fishing. Alright, here we go, we have completed the easy tasks, and look at this champion of the beasts, solo mission, this, this fella man, nice run forehead, dude! <sighs> Look at this guy, man. He's he literally took the clue scroll perk to flex, man. I'll get this my way. This is just illegal behavior. But most importantly, we can now teleport away from this fella. Because we can now get the blessing, I think. Which is good. But most importantly, we're gonna have double the chance for Xeric Talisman. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, someone from Jamflex banned this guy, man. What is this behavior? I'll just put this on Slayer because I don't want it interrupting my inventory spot. And we got 53 Slayer. Nice. We got it. We got the Xeric Talisman. For some reason, every time I get a drop that I really want, I just pick it up and then I start recording because I don't want to lose it. But we got it. We now have teleports across pretty much the whole game. That's going to be huge for the account. I think I have like 15 teleports only at the moment. I don't have a nice way of getting more... Um, more fangs or whatever they are. But that's really good. That's going to be huge for the account. And we can now focus on completing the next steps on this cruise scroll. And hopefully get more good stuff. This is going to be the reward 100%. Please. Nice. Same spot pretty much. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Wait, that's actually really good. Magic shortbow. Black dehyde body. Wait. Wait, that's actually like really good. That's really insane actually. Hell yeah, totally worth it. Now I just need to get 70 rage somehow. That's actually sick, man. We even have the purple sweets if we want to get extra thick, you know, it's really good. Hell yeah. But, like, I get 250 from 99 fire making, which is easy. I'll get points for 60... Oh, wait, hold up, fuck, I missed it. No, I didn't, I actually record... Uh, anyways, hold up, fuck, fuck, uh... Okay. Alright, so, 55... Fuck, one more time. Alright, so 55 Slayer is accomplished, which means... Okay, one more time. Alright, so 55 Slayer... Fuck, how do I say this? Okay, here we go. 
All right, so 55 Slayer is accomplished, which means that we can now basically choose Blood Velds, I guess, almost every time. If I can't choose it every time, I'll choose Blood Velds and then Fire Giants. Blood Velds, Fire Giants. But those are the stats, 60 attack, 67 strength, and 60 defense. I'm pushing to 80 strength right now to get more points, and then I'll push to 80 attack. I will leave defense on 60, probably for a very long time, though. Um... Slayer should be getting up very quickly, but before I continue with it, I will go for the next Relic upgrade, and I'll do that with, I guess, thieving, farming, and, uh, well, all these level 1 skills. I'll have to get that up a little bit, because the next Relic gives me 2 times experience in all combat stats, prayer, um, attack strength, defense, HP, range, magic, everything. It's gonna be so good for me to unlock that before I continue training. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing that, uh, I guess, right after this task. One more key, I would not complain with another 120k, please. What do we get? Eee, diamonds, okay, I have so many diamonds. I wonder if I can get my crafting high enough to the point where I can actually use them. Which is 43, that's pretty doable, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and get our stats going, but first, let's see if we can do it. Where are blood welts? There they are, blood welts, I can take them. That is so good. Uh, blood Veld. There we go. How many? 134. Thank you, buddy. You know what? I can all I could also extend them, but there's no point in extending tasks because you can literally choose them over and over again. So you just get more points if you come back here more often, if that makes sense. I also have opened Brimstone Chest six times. Pretty interesting. Um, okay, so let's train some farming. We have this now, so we can just teleport there, which is awesome. And, uh, but for that, I first obviously want to, um, you know, empty my inventory a bit. I'm not recording a lot on this account at the moment, and that is because we are grinding towards 99 fishing, and this one takes a little bit longer to complete, but there it is, 80 fishing, and that is gonna give me nice amount of points, and we're 55 agility, 55 strength, we're technically only gonna be here... At first, till 60 strength and 60 agility, then I'll finish 99 fi fire making, then I'll finish 99 fishing. So that's pretty much the plan, but let's see how much points we get. We are 1280 away, and then when we claim, 1180 away. So we got 100 points there, very nice. And you know what? I'm actually enjoying this perk. I know I said this relic is not worth taking. I still think it's not worth taking, but the amount of time I'm literally... I just click here once... And then I play on, on this account, however, now it's kind of late at night and I'm editing the video, so I'm AFKing both accounts. But still, I do like the, the relic and I don't regret as much taking it. So I did just reach 34 farming on the Slayer account, which is kind of huge because now we can do Tithe Farm. And it means that we can speedrun all the way to 45 um, farming, which is going to be huge because then we can go to the farming guild, get the farming contracts, all sorts of fun stuff. However, for now, for a little bit of time, I'm still going to AFK it. I'm already 75 strength on the account, almost 70 hit points as well, literally like two hits away, which is huge. I'll probably wait for another uh, rotation of the farming and uh, then we're gonna do tithe until 45. And uh, yeah, this account is also looking extremely nicely. I like it. Meanwhile, still fishing on our main and 60 strength coming through. And here it is, the level that we've been waiting for, 60 agility. This one is absolutely massive. Now, that means I pretty much unlock my best training spot for agility. I'm also gonna claim this, basically get 100 points just then. I will stay here for 85 fishing, I think it's gonna look nice, or until I run out of feathers actually, now that I think of it, that will not be enough for 85. But the stats are looking absolutely phenomenal. The next thing that I wanna go for, as I said, is gonna be fire making. So we're gonna go ahead and do that after these feathers and uh, get that probably all the way to 99. Or actually, I completely forgot, since we are here, we should train our hunter up in actual raids. But for that, I would need to scout them to find the correct room. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. Hunter and then, yeah. Ah, I didn't think this through. I don't have the net. Well, fuck. All right, I guess we can do that then. So what I need to do right now is I need to get a net from the scavengers. And once I do get a net, I can then go ahead and... Uh, I can then go ahead and try to find a room with bats and then train my hunter all the way up to... I think 19 is what we're gonna be going for. 
for now and then after that i think it's okay to just train normally maybe we're gonna go for 20 at 20 i think it's very easy to train so uh let's hit the let's get net for now and then uh then start training hunter and i think here we have it uh fishing rod butterfly net that's what we needed to catch the the bats i think i can just wield this and let's see if uh, okay no so i don't really know what i need to do here i think i just somehow do I just like log out? Do I just leave? Refresh? No? I don't know. I need to figure it out. Ah, uh, there we have it. We finally found the gua gua guanic bats. And as you can see, this, this will be a pretty good way for me to train the early hunter levels. We got 25 XP for each one. Uh, we can just drop them, obviously, after. Um, but this is going to be nice because it is way faster than just planting one bird snare and then waiting for, you know, the birds to get there. You can literally just catch them here. They keep respawning. You never have a downtime. It's awesome. So I'll talk to you guys once I do reach that 20 hunter. Uh, maybe I'll even go for more. Who knows? We'll see. I'll keep that part of the progress for the next video, but just before we end the video for tonight, I do want to show you stats on both of our account. This one will be our main slash skilling slash going for a lot of 99s account. And this one, uh, basically these are the stats, which I think are very, very good for... Uh, basically the day two pretty much and then these are stats of our slayer slash i want to focus on combat slash i'm not gonna go for a lot of 99s account so this account's goal is pretty much 99 hp attack strength defense prayer uh maybe magic uh, and I don't actually plan on skilling on that account that's the main reason why I went for two accounts is just to satisfy like like more people pretty much because I got a lot of comments why are you playing to accounts like uh, that is probably why to keep it interesting to keep it spicy even for me personally sometimes when I do boring stuff on one account I do something more interesting on the other and it kind of complements it very well uh, but yeah with that being said I really do appreciate everyone who stayed here for the whole 20 22 minutes however long this is gonna be uh, thank you very much and uh, we ended up getting about a thousand new subs yesterday which is huge um, with that progress, we might as well reach 100k at some point pretty soon, which is really surreal to think about. So thank you guys for that. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll be ending the video here. Um, I'll be seeing you all again tomorrow and later on on the live stream. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.